All right, so today's video is going to be titled, So Your Preacher Told You We Are the Bride, Huh? So a common false teaching is that we as members of the body of Christ are somehow also the bride of Christ. It's generally accepted that the church is the bride of Christ, which is false via Scripture. So the general teaching from the Roman Catholics, as well as multiple denominations today, is, and I quote, we are married to the Lord, so we are the bride, and that the bride waits for the bridegroom. And so we are waiting for his return, and once that happens and gathers us together with him, then we will be united with him in marriage. End quote. That cannot be any further from the truth. We are Titus 2.13. Looking for that blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now let's take a look at Revelation chapter 19 to see if we are the bride. When you attempt to build an entire theology off a phrase that's not even in our King James Bible, then you should be very careful. Okay, let's take a, let's take a look at Revelation chapter 19, verse 7 real quick. I'm going to read that to you once I get my Bible open. I'm sorry, I should have had it open by now. I already closed it up. My apologies. Okay, so Revelation chapter 19, verse 7 says, Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and the wife hath made herself ready. Okay, so bride of Christ, that, that phrase, like I said, is not even found in our King James Bible. However, we can see uh, who that future marriage is for in Revelation chapter 21 and uh, Hosea chapter 2. So let's talk about the bridegroom, the friend of the bridegroom, and, and a bride adorned for her husband. So the bridegroom is Jesus Christ. And as you can see in the pictures, Isaiah chapter 62, verse 5, Jeremiah 7, 34, chapter 16, verse 9, chapter 25, verse 10, chapter 33, verse 11, Joel chapter 2, verse 16, Matthew chapter 9, verse 15, Matthew chapter 25, verse 1, and verses 5 through 6, and verse 10. Mark chapter 2, verses 10 through 20, Luke chapter 5, verses 34 through 35, John chapter 3, verse 29, and Revelation chapter 18, verse 23. The friend of the bridegroom is John the Baptist. John chapter 3, verse 29. I'll go ahead and read that verse to you real quick. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. So who is John? He's the friend of the bridegroom, not the bride. So the Baptists named their entire denomination after a man that is the friend of the bridegroom. So is John the church or, or is he in the church? The truth is those who claim they are Baptists don't even know. A little far from what God is doing today, huh? Okay, so who is the bride adorned for her husband? And I'm referring to Revelation chapter 21, verse 2, um, right here. Well, it's the holy city, New Jerusalem, and the Lamb's wife. That's Revelation chapter 21. You can just read the whole chapter. So the body of Christ is us, my friend, God's husbandry. Flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 16. And Ephesians chapter 5 verse 30. So when Christ returns, he's, he's not coming to marry his own body. Chew on that for a second. And I'll say it again. When Jesus Christ returns, he's not coming to marry his his own body, period. Those that were saved during Jesus' earthly ministry will spend eternity on earth. Those that are saved during the dispensation of the grace of God will spend eternity in heaven. So, will the body of Christ, the church today, end up in the holy city, New Jerusalem? No. We are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places, not earthly places. That's Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. The little flock... The kingdom church has an earthly inheritance, and that's not us. God will marry, and the sons of Jerusalem will dwell in and never depart from again. Revelation chapter 21, verse 2, and verses 9 through 10. The one common misunderstanding today 
is saying that all 27 books of Matthew through Revelation are a unified body of information. Well, that can't be further from the truth as well. You have to separate Matthew through John, the book of Acts, Romans through Philemon, and Hebrews through Revelation. All four of these sections of your Bible have a different purpose and audience. So let me ask you this then. What's wrong with the we are the bride of Christ teaching? Well, there's a couple things. And the first red flag should be that the phrase itself is not even found in our King James Bible, like I said earlier. Secondly, where does this marriage happen? Where does it take place? Well, in the book of Revelation, which has nothing to do with the church, the body of Christ today. So if you claim that you are here in the book of Revelation, then you also have to go through Daniel's 70th week, the tribulation. And you're also making yourself ready for that marriage by your own righteousness. And what I'm referring to there is Revelation chapter 19, verses 7 and 8. The bride has Israel's name all over it. Revelation chapter 21, verse 2. Verses 1 through 2, I'm sorry. And hey, that takes place in the ages to come. That city, prepared as a bride, the land's wife, comes down out of heaven and remains on the earth. Hey, this is that kingdom of heaven that Jesus refers to in the book of Matthew. This city is the bride. It's not you. So let's take a look at verse 12. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to ex explain to you a couple things that are in uh, verse 12 here in Revelation chapter uh, 19. Uh, actually, it may be Revelation 21. I'm sorry. So that city has a wall with 12 gates. It's got 12 angels. It's got the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. And then in verse 14, we see that the 12 apostles, that's not Paul. Paul's not included in those. So why are there 12 apostles then? In Matthew chapter 19, verse 28, Jesus told the 12 that they would be judging the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. So to say that you are the bride, huh? Well, that's wrong. Then what tribe are you from then? Which side and which gate are you entering in then? Well, the fact is you're not. So give up on your man-made replacement theology. If you understand the dispensation of the grace of God, then you understand that Jesus Christ has already done the work necessary almost 2,000 years ago. And you just need to believe that. We're not waiting to be married. We are already seated in heavenly places. And we are also members of His body. You can read all through 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and in many other places in Paul's epistles. We are flesh of his flesh and bone of his bone, as I said earlier, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 30. This is Israel's marriage, not ours. Hey, don't be away, afraid to walk away from those religious, traditional, false teachings. Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Grace and peace.